Tensions in the Gaza Strip are rising again as the current five-day ceasefire is set to expire at the end of Monday. Israeli and Palestinian delegations are holding last-minute talks in Cairo. What's the latest on the on the negotiations? It's unpromising to say the least, according to a senior Palestinian official as of Sunday night. He described Israel's position during the Egyptian mediated talks as a retreat from previous deals and that discussions had returned to square one. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said any agreement on the future of Gaza had to meet Israel's security needs, warning Hamas face harsh retaliation if it resumed its rocket attacks. And in a separate development, Israeli troops have destroyed the homes of two Palestinians it suspects of killing three Jewish teenagers. Today in the morning, they raided and sealed off the house by using concrete. They filled the house with concrete from the floor to the ceiling. God is greater than them. The army said it set charges to the homes before dawn after receiving approval from Israel's Supreme Court, which had rejected three appeals from the suspects' families against the gem demolition. Rather, Israel claims Hamas militants had kidnapped and murdered the three Jewish youths in the West Bank back in June. Allegations that Hamas has neither confirmed nor denied.